In this video, I'll be providing you with an overview of our free and easy to use Connect Drive Commissioning software. Connect software may be used to commission our Unidrive M400, M600, and M700 AC drives, our Commander series general purpose drives, our Digitax HD small footprint AC drives, our H300 HVAC drives, our E300 elevator drives, our F600 pump drives, and our DFS high horsepower freestanding drives. The user interface for Connect Software is divided into five main sections. Starting at the top, we have the menu bar. Underneath the menu bar, there is the control ribbon. On the left is the Project Explorer. In the middle of the screen, there is the Project Dashboard. And on the right, there are the Properties Explorer and the Integrated Help System. Let's explore each of these in a little more detail. Let's begin by looking at the File tab on the menu bar. Here, I can start a new project. I can open an existing project. I can save my open project using a different name. I can close the project. And I can also choose the language for Connect Software. By default, it's the same as the operating system. But we also support Chinese, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. The About Connect will show you the revision of the software, as well as the revision of any extensions that are installed. The Home tab on the menu bar is used to display the Control Ribbon. The Control Ribbon contains icons and shortcuts to various software operations. These icons and shortcuts are also displayed here in the dashboard. You may elect to minimize the ribbon by right-clicking on it and then choosing Minimize Ribbon. If you'd like to display the ribbon again, click on the Home tab, right-click again, and uncheck Minimize the Ribbon. The View Menu tab allows you to selectively turn on and off various panels in the software. For example, I have the Help panel open over here. If I wish to not display that, I'll click there. If I wish to turn it back on again, I'll click here. This software will open a new tab for every item that you elect to display. I have two tabs open, so if I'd like, I can elect to cascade those windows, like this, or I can tile them horizontally, like that, or I can tile them vertically, like that. I can also elect to either close the other tabs that are not highlighted, or I can close all the tabs like that. The Tools tab on the menu bar contains a single tool. This tool is used to download a configuration file that was created by our Machine Control Studio automation software into one of our remote I.O. bus couplers. Connect Software is project-based. On the left side of the screen, you have the Project Explorer pane. The Project Explorer pane will contain all of the drives that are part of your project. The Project Explorer pane can be auto-hidden by clicking here, and 
It can also be dragged around the screen and docked in any part of the screen that you wish. At the project level, you may right click and do things like add a drive, scan for new drives that are connected to your computer, or perform other actions that you see here. At the axis level, you may also right click and perform any of the actions that you see here. Underneath the axis, you have a folder structure. The folder structure contains shortcuts to things like setup tools and wizards, drive diagnostics, menus and parameters, block diagrams, custom lists, parameter files, and macro files. The dashboard, like the control ribbon, contains action items for various drive functions, as well as shortcuts to drive tools and wizards. The dashboard is opened by clicking on the dashboard underneath each of the axes in your project. The dashboard is organized into sections. There are drive action icons grouped here, setup and diagnostic action icons grouped here, parameters, and parameter help. Along the left edge of the dashboard, you'll see buttons that will allow you to open the dashboard for the drive itself, or any expansion modules you may have present, as well as an Ethernet dashboard if your drive is Ethernet ready. I'll open the dashboard for Axis 2 now to show you what an expansion module dashboard looks like. Here, I have an SIIO module in slot 2. I'll open the dashboard for that module now, and as you can see, there's an operations section which will allow me to default the parameters for this module. There's also a setup section with shortcuts to the parameters for this particular module and the block diagrams for this particular module, as well as a shortcut to the parameter reference guide. If you've enabled properties and help in the view menu, they will appear in the right column of your screen on two individual tabs. There's the Properties tab, which will allow you to examine and edit properties of your project or your axis. Ellipse buttons next to the mode, for example, will allow me to change the drive operating mode or if my drive is equipped for Ethernet communication, I can also change the IP address from the Properties view. The Help tab is your online guide to explanations of all of our drive parameters. For example, if I were to open Menu 1 and I did not know what the reference offset was, for example, I would click on it, and as you can see, I get an explanation, including hypertext links to other related parameters that I can use if I have questions regarding the setup parameters for the drive. Connect software may be downloaded freely from our website. Simply choose the Downloads menu, and then Software. If you've not downloaded from our website before, you'll need to register to gain access. But once you have, log in using your email address, and then simply choose Connect Drive Commissioning Software and download. Thank you for watching this video, and thank you for choosing Control Techniques.